Let's get started with JavaScript. We're going to use the Chrome browser in this tutorial. In the Chrome address bar, type about colon blank and you will get a blank web page. From there, you can right click on the page and choose inspect from the pop-up menu. Or you can press the Control, Shift, and I keys at the same time to open Chrome DevTools. With Chrome DevTools now open, we have a web page on the left, and your DevTools window may not be expanded as far as mine at first, but you can adjust that by just pulling the bar over like this. This makes the web page a small column on the left of the screen, and the DevTools are open on the right. You can see the Elements tab is selected. Let's change that by clicking the Console tab. And just to make the display a little less bright, let's go into Settings and choose the Dark theme. That took us back to the Elements tab, so let's choose the Console tab again. Now we can type some JavaScript directly into the console. Let's start out with JavaScript comments and data types. A JavaScript comment starts with two slashes. We can leave comments in our code when we want to leave a note for ourselves or if we're working on a team with other developers. JavaScript comments are simply notes. Now let's get into JavaScript data types. There are four basic data types that you will work with in JavaScript all the time. The first one is the string data type. We need to enclose string data in quotes. We can use double quotes or single quotes with string data. I'm going to type my name into the console as string data and press enter. The console replies with the string data I entered. Let's go ahead and use the type of keyword to have JavaScript confirm what data type we have. The console replies with string. Let's use the type of keyword again for the number 42. The console replies with number. Let's use the type of keyword again and let's type true. True is a Boolean data type. You can also see using the type of keyword with false gets a response of Boolean in the console. Clear the console window by clicking the circle with the slash through it at the top left. Now let's define a variable. We'll use the keyword let. If a variable is made up of more than one word, you should use camel case. This means the first word starts out with lower case, but the second word and any following words in the variable name are capitalized. We are not assigning a value to my variable right now. Let's just hit enter. Using the type of keyword with my variable tells us that the data type is undefined. You have now been introduced to four JavaScript data types, string, number, boolean, and undefined. Let's take my variable and set it equal to my name. Now we can see that my variable is a string data type instead of an undefined data type. Because we used the keyword let to initiate my variable, we can reassign its value. Let's reassign the value of my variable to 42. Now when we use the type of keyword, my variable is the number data type. Let's clear the console again. Now let's look at JavaScript mathematical operators. Let's take the number 42 and add 2. The console replies with 44. We can do a similar operation with subtraction. Let's create a new variable called my number and assign the value of 42. Now we can use the variable my number in mathematical operations. JavaScript treats the variable as if it were the number 42. If we add 2 to our variable, the console replies with 44. We can also do this with multiplication and division. We can also set the variable to the value of an equation. Let's clear the console again. Earlier, we created my variable. My variable is currently equal to the number 42. Let's reassign the value to my name, which is a string data type. Now let's take the other variable we created named my number and let's add it to my variable. You can see JavaScript just takes the number 88 and treats it like a string because it's being combined with my variable which is a string data type. To confirm this, let's create a new variable named myCombo, and let's assign the value of myCombo equal to the operation of myNumber plus myVariable. Using the type of keyword with myCombo confirms that myCombo is a string data type. Therefore, we know that the plus operator concatenates data when used with string data types. However, used 
with only numeric data types, the plus operator performs a mathematical operation. Let's clear the console. Let's work with Boolean data. We usually see Boolean data as a result of comparing values. Let's use my variable and we will compare instead of assigning and therefore we will use three equals operators side by side. This comparison statement is saying, is my variable equal to my number? JavaScript responds with false. My number is equal to 88. If we take the variable my number and say is equal to, we're asking the question, is this variable equal to 88? JavaScript returns true. We can hold that Boolean data result in a variable. Let's create another variable named myBool and assign it the value of my number compared to the value of 88. When we check the value of my bool, it is true because my number is equal to 88. We can also use comparisons like greater than, less than, and even not equal to. Let's try those out. My number is not equal to 88. My number is greater than or equal to 88. My number is less than 88. And now to review, we have covered how to open Chrome DevTools, how to put Chrome DevTools into dark mode, how to use the console tab in Chrome DevTools to enter JavaScript statements, four data types, string, number, Boolean, and undefined, how to check data types with the keyword type of, how to create variables with the keyword let, how to name variables with camel case, how to use basic mathematical operators to perform mathematic operations, to concatenate string data, and to compare data types. When we compared data, we received Boolean data in return. The examples in this tutorial have used JavaScript syntax, and no beginner JavaScript tutorial would be complete without a Hello World section. So let's get started. Type the word alert followed by a parenthesis. Now we'll add our string data, hello world, with an exclamation mark enclosed in quotes. Let's finish the statement with a closing parenthesis and a semicolon at the end. When we press enter, we get a pop-up that says hello world. This is an alert box in JavaScript. You can just click OK to have it go away. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope this tutorial has helped you get started with JavaScript. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new videos. I'll see you next time.